Hey guys, it's Katie, and I wanted to come on real quick and um, share with you some of the um, goodies I got at the Dollar Tree last night. Um, if you watched my video yesterday, me and my son went to Michael's and Target and got some stuff, and then um, we had to go pick my husband up from work, and so in the town that he works in, they have a Dollar Tree, and I haven't been to the Dollar Tree in months, so I was pleasantly surprised to see all the stuff that they carry now, so I thought I would come on and share it with you real quick, because um, I was, I was so happy about it. Um, they have these stickers, um, but anyway, I thought I could, you know, use them as, um, centerpieces in my flowers and stuff so I got the lavender color which is one of my favorite colors and so I thought that was really cool and um, they had several different colors but I got the lavender I got this um, really bright pink and this um, teal color I didn't get the dark blue or the red but I thought that was beautiful. Um, and then I found these stickers that I thought were pretty cute. They're, they call them pop-up stickers. But, you know, they're just dimensional stickers. So I got one of those, and I got one of these. And isn't that just cute? Um, but these are what I fell in love with, and I can't wait to share these with you. And I'll probably go back and get some more, but... Look at these. They call them pop-ups too, but look at these owls. How cute. And see, they're dimensional. I don't know if you can really... Um, but... Super cute. I would call them... I guess they're pop-up because they're not really... They're not puffy. But aren't those so cute? And I love owls. And then I found this one. That are the race cars. Um, because my, let me move these so you can see the background. Um, my grandson's first birthday, my daughter's going to do the cars theme, so. And I found these. Super, super cute. I love them. I just think they're so neat. I found this one. You know, I don't have a lot of boy things, so when I do find something that I like boy, I grab it. The turtles. I thought they were so cute, too. I love the way they look, and I think they'd look so cute on, like, cards and stuff. The dinosaurs with the dinosaur eggs. Those are so cute. I love them. Um, these were one of my favorites, but that's because I love kitty cats so much. But look at how cute. Like, looks like a pink um, zebra. Anyway, I thought they were so cute. And then some fish, because I don't have any fish. And then, um, if you watched my haul video from yesterday, I got a package of the organza bags, and I paid five bucks for them. Well, at the Dollar Tree, they have the bags. You only get eight, but eight for a dollar. I thought it was a really good deal. They have every color you can think of, but um, I liked the... It's like a creamy yellow, beige, whatever, um, and pink. I thought they were really pretty. I did find some of the bigger index cards because I've got the little ones, but I wanted a package of bigger ones. And then look at how cool this is. Okay, so I got sequins. You get six of them for a dollar, six different colors, and that was like the pink and purple family, the blue and green. And I love this one. This is like the brown and orange and yellow and gold. So pretty. Anyway, so I'll definitely have to go back and get more sequins. Um, because I was lacking on sequins anyway. So um, I'm going to do that. But um, it's not a huge haul. But I'm really happy with it. And like I spent like 20 bucks, I guess. Um I thought it was awesome. So, I wanted to come on and share it real quick with you guys. Um, you've probably already seen everything. Like I said, I'm behind. I don't really 
get a chance to go to the Dollar Tree. So you probably have already seen all of this, but if you haven't, there's a little looky at what they have there. So anyway, um, I don't guess I'll be back on the rest of the day today because I really need to start finishing up my packing. Um, cause we have to be out of this house on the fifth, completely out by the fifth. So yeah, I got to get busy. Um, anyway, my, and another thing I wanted to ask, um, everybody too, that participated in my challenge, um, the challenge ends April 25th and what's today? Today's the 22nd or 23rd. Like, I don't even know what's my receipt say yesterday was not horrible when you don't even know what day it is. I don't even freaking know what day it is. Oh, okay, so today's the 22nd. Okay, so today's the 22nd, now that we've established that like five times. But my um, challenge uh, ends on the 25th. Well, everybody that's participated has sent, you know, their challenge in except for um, Nail Polish Anonymous, but she's been really sick. Um, so I don't really want to, you know, fault her for that. And I don't know when she's going to get hers in. So anyway, what I'm saying is nobody else has got a hold of me saying that they were going to participate. Would everybody be totally, like, upset um, if maybe we, would like, did the drawing tomorrow? Or do you want to go ahead and wait all the way till the 25th? Even though, I guess, like, I guess I should just wait till the 25th because that's when I said that you know, it was over. I, I highly doubt that anybody's going to make anything, um, for the challenge in between now and then, but, um, like, I don't know. I guess you set dates for a reason, so they're not changed. So I will leave that completely alone. I did want to say, oh, I wanted to show you a list of, um, I'm sorry guys, like I'm not with it today. Um, I've been so busy. Um, but here is a list of names of everybody that participated. Um, and then, you know, like you get extra points for sending it to me. You get extra points for um, doing share videos and stuff. So I'm going to have to go through and mark everybody for that. Um, but if you have participated and I don't have your name on this list, you might want to message me and let me know because I think I've seen them all um, but I don't want to leave anybody out if I hadn't um, so just message me and let me know if you're not on that list and then I guess we'll go ahead and do the the drawing on the 25th it's just been crazy around here we're trying to pack and move and let me show you something my house is messy right now because of all the packing and moving but um, let me cover you up here let me show you. Okay. Look at all this packing that I have done. It is just tons and tons and tons everywhere. Um, so this is what I do on my free time. <laughs> you probably don't want to see or don't care. Look at, that's my amazing stacking abilities. Great, huh? I'm going to be so glad to get rid of that wallpaper. I hate this wallpaper. But um, in here, like I got everything, you know, off the cupboards. And let me see. My laundry room. I'm doing laundry, so I got clothes on the floor. But, like, look at how empty my house looks. Like, it doesn't even barely look like anybody lives here. I did the same thing in the living room. Like, I got, I'm gonna let my husband pack his own Corvette stuff because if I break it, you know. But look at how empty my house is. It's messy. Like I said, I'm sorry, guys, but I've had the children here and um, been trying to pack. But anyway, um, I even had to move my granddaughter's bed into my craft room. So, but what I'm here, I don't want to make you dizzy. 
what I'm saying is in between, you can look at that while I talk to you, um, in between going and picking out cabinets for the new house and countertops and flooring and trying to get everything packed here and then shuffling the two youngest kids around, um, it's just been crazy busy. So I know that yesterday, day before yesterday, the last two videos that I did um, of the pocket letters that were sent to me, I started thinking about it and I thought, you know, I just really wasn't very talkative. They lasted like two or three minutes and cut off and that's not normally how it is. And so I apologize, you know, for that. And if I didn't give you proper, you know, go through your pocket letter properly, um, I'm sorry about that. I just, by the time I get home and start doing a video, I'm just drained. But I don't want to not do it because I know that some people, you know, wait all day to see if you've got it and if you like it. I'm, I'm one of those people. Like, if I know something's supposed to be delivered on a certain day, I'll keep checking to see if they've got it yet, you know, because I just want to know that they're happy with it. Anyway, and so I hadn't really been, um real talkative or any, I just been tired. So I apologize for that. And I'm not normally like that. And I'm not a rude person. And I think every single pocket letter that was sent to me is amazing. Um, and they've all given me ideas and I love them. I love them all. They're all going to go on my new craft room wall, but I just didn't want the last two people to feel like I didn't like theirs. Cause I just, I was real quick with it. Um, so I apologize for that. If it hurt anybody's feelings, I didn't intend on it. Um, I've just been so busy and stressed. So once I do the drawing for this challenge on the 25th, um, I probably won't be on YouTube very much. I might be watching everybody else's videos and commenting, but as far as making my own videos or hauling or crafting, probably not. Um, we got so much to, we have got, to, we've got the moving van from 8.30 in the morning on a Friday until 5 o'clock Saturday evening. And we've got to empty this whole house. We have a shop, a storage, and a barn um, that we have to do. Plus, I have a storage building. Um, so... Oh my gosh, it's going to be so much work, but I think that if we have enough help, my both my son-in-laws and my son and his best friend are supposed to come over and help, um, so we'll see. I don't know. I'm not looking forward to it, but, and then when we moved into our new house, we have, like, we have to move everything in, but we have to put everything in, like, one or two rooms because the day after we move in, the flooring people are coming, like, they couldn't come any sooner. So I got to wait till I put down all the new flooring before I can put my furniture out. I don't know. It's just stressful. I guess moving is stressful. Oh my gosh, another ant. And then I got an ant problem. And I wonder if it's because it's been raining so much. Like, look, even today it's very gloomy and yucky. So I don't know. Um, so anyway, I'm babbling now, but that's what's going on. And like I said, if I, if I seem like I'm a little distant or whatever, I'm not, I'm just really tired. Um, so anywho, I got my friend mail out today, so I'm not going to give away the surprise, but I sent somebody some things. All right. Well, I'm just, yeah, I'm not even making any sense. So anyway, I will talk to y'all later. I hope you have a great, great weekend. Today's my husband's short day at work. We say short when it's only eight hours at work, but it's his short day. And then he's off tomorrow. So tomorrow we got to go. And the craziest thing is the house that we bought in the master bathroom, they took out the bathtub and just like left the shower and the vanity and all that kind of stuff. So now I got to go buy a bathtub. But it's okay, because I think I'm going to get one of those jet baths or whatever. Anyway, so tomorrow we're going to be bathtub shopping. Yay. Um, so anyway, okay, I'm getting off. Anyway, but that was my haul video. I wanted to share it with y'all. Um, and 
just check in and I guess I'll be back on I'll be back on on the 25th for sure to draw a name um I don't think I'll be I don't know I might be on before then but I doubt it so anyway all right I will talk to y'all later have a great weekend and craft on